and welcome to another edition of the 422 Business Show. I am your host, Bill Haley, the publisher of the Root 422 Business Advisor Magazine and 422business.com. And today we have an interesting show. We're going to be visiting with the President and the Vice President of American Crane and Equipment Corporation in Douglasville, Pennsylvania. Enjoy the show. And we're here with Advar Norheim, the President and CEO of American Crane and Equipment Corporation. Advar, welcome to the show. Thank you, and welcome to American Crane. Thank you so much. What a, what a fascinating facility you have here. Uh, you were founded in 1972, is that correct? That's correct. We were founded on May 1, 1972, and which means we were 40 years old this year. 40 years old and going strong. Absolutely. Well, now uh, tell our viewers a little bit about American Crane. Uh, American, yeah. American Crane, uh, from day one, we have been involved in the material handling industry. Yeah. And through the 70s and 80s, we mostly made uh, a standard crane for uh, standard fabrication, manufacturing, and also we did a lot of work for the steel mills mm -hmm. at that time. In um, the early 80s, we got involved in uh, red waste crane, with basically a crane that were handling a low-level nuclear waste. Oh, okay. And then, um, as time went by, uh, as you all know, in the 90s or late, uh, late 80s, um, the nuclear industry died off. Mm -hmm. But um, by mid-90s, we realized there was a market within this industry, and then we decided to get involved. And first we got involved on at uh, the Cape through McDonnell Douglas, that's no Boeing, mm -hmm. to make crane for uh, basically handling uh, missiles for wow. space. Well, wow. and, and you, but you now do everything, <coughs> uh, material handling, anything from the large scale like nuclear industry, a Navy project that you're working on, but everything even to smaller warehouses that need cranes as well, yes. correct? We have um, this facility here, are building components for the larger cranes. The facility we have done at Leicester, uh, which is also about 100,000 square feet. We are making the larger cranes. At the Leicester, we have a lifting capacity of uh, a 75-ton crane and a 50-ton crane. Wow. So we can pretty much handle anything coming down the road. Wow, wow, and, and 40 years, and of course we're here in Douglasville at your main facility. Uh, what other locations do you have? We have basically the here in, um, just down the street, a mile, uh, on Ben Franklin Road mm -hmm. in Douglas County, where we have 20,000 square feet. There we have um, the service and parts. Then we have the facility down at the Industrial Park, close to the Philadelphia Airport where it's about 100,000 square feet. Wow, all in Pennsylvania? All Pennsylvania. Excellent, excellent. But if we do the business all over uh, the country, mm -hmm. we had people up at the North Slope, um, just in Alaska, just mm -hmm. a few weeks ago. Oh, wow. Fascinating. And we are speaking with Karen Norheim, the Vice President of Marketing and Communications. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Yep. Welcome to the show, Karen. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Great to have you. Hey, we just spoke with Advar, and uh, tell us, he told us about the facilities and where you're located, but tell us a little more about this main facility and your, and your plans for expansion and growth. Okay, this uh, facility here is about 206,000 square feet. Mm -hmm. uh, we do sales, engineering, manufacturing, um, as well as our administrative staff um, is all located at this facility. Um, we are currently um, looking at, we have already expanded our engineering department. We've added on 2,500 square feet. Mm -hmm. And we've also are in the process of uh, adding on a 40,000 square foot manufacturing facility out back um, because we'd like to expand both our engineering department and our machining capabilities. So you're growing by leaps and bounds, it sounds like. We it's are, fab or, yes, fabulous, fabulous. yes. Well, tell me uh, about some of your, your products and particularly some of your products that are, that are unique to the market. Okay. Uh, we're really passionate about building high quality specialty lifting equipment. Okay. Um, we like solving complex material handling problems. Um, we believe in providing our customers with the right uh, equipment for the application. And so what this becomes is custom material handling solutions. Um, this can be anything from cranes, hoists, to jib cranes, monorails, below the hook devices such as lifting beams and spreader bars. Mm. Um, we also offer options like explosion proof and single fire proof. Um, 
but all those things together, you know, can we come up with a solution for whatever the customer needs. So if there, it, when it comes to material handling, whether it's something huge or something small, you probably have a solution. Yes. Interesting. Yes. Well, tell me about some of your, some of the experiences and some of the projects you've worked on that, that, have, that have made you an industry leader. Well, as Ivar talked about earlier about our history um, from the 70s and through the 80s and 90s, which started with the Radways cranes and then moved into single fireproof and um, what we call critical lift cranes. Mm -hmm. um, we did a lot of work with uh, aerospace, the Department of Energy, Navy Nuclear, um, DOE. And what that's done is we've been able to put together a highly skilled workforce that has the capabilities to provide these engineered products. Mm. And that really is what's given us the experience to be able to do what we do. And I know you've done some, some uh, very complex projects that, uh, that due to the, na the nature of their industry, you had to come up with a really creative answer yeah. for that, right? That's the fun stuff. <laughs> <laughs> um, we recently completed a project for Boeing in North Charleston, South Carolina, and this is where they do the manufacturing of their Dreamliner facility, excuse me, their Dreamliner airplane. We built an underhung 80-ton crane system that covers 460,000 square feet without columns, and it's a it's an awesome piece of equipment. It's very complex. There's interlocking bridges and trolleys that can move across. And it's definitely one of the projects that we're really proud of uh, having a, uh, completed. Um, some other work we've done, we've done some work with Hanford uh, out in Washington. And this is a project for cleanup, a cleanup site of some leftover radioactive uh, waste. Oh. And so we're, our cranes are part of the process of taking that low-level waste and turning it into glass logs, which is called vitrification. Mm -hmm. Um, we also were part of a project with, uh, which was called Thor, where we built a bell housing and crane that was also used to process low-level waste. Um, we've done some other interesting projects uh, related to bridges. Oh. We built what's called Bridge Travelers, which go on the underside of bridges and allow for uh, maintenance and service of that bridge. And we have those installed on the Brooklyn Bridge, on the Tacoma Narrow Bridge, on the Mackinac Bridge, uh, as well as some others. Wow, fascinating. And, and uh, you, you may have already answered this question, but I, I might ask you to elaborate. What is it about your manufacturing processes and, and your other uh, skills that you bring to the table that sets you apart from other companies in, in the material handling industry? I think the best way to answer that is to say that we're a vertically integrated company and we can do everything from the design and engineering of equipment to the manufacturing, the machining, um, the installation, the testing, and the service. And uh, by having all those capabilities, we're, we're really um, puts us in a position where we can provide, the, I think, the best customer service, best lead times, and things like that. Uh, we have electrical, mechanical, and structural engineers in-house. Mm -hmm. Our mechanical and structural group can do everything from um, mechanical and machine design to structural uh, analysis. Mm -hmm. um, our electrical group can do complete uh, system designs, whether they're automated or remote or whatnot. Mm -hmm. um, and in addition, we have uh, an electrical shop. Um, our manufacturing facility um, has a very up-to-date material prep area, which includes a plasma cutter, a saw, um, as well as a bend and other equipment. Um, we've recently added a new drum lathe that allows us to make the large hoisting drums ourselves. Hmm. Um, we have a large vertical borrowing mill, um, and we've added some other tooling. We have other CNC machining out there, and really that allows us to not have to depend on anybody else to, to do any sort of outside machining. We're able to, to do it um, ourselves and to our level of quality that we want. Wow, yeah, and I was impressed with touring the facility at, at, at the, uh, the way you expand and grow to meet whatever need uh, arises. And, and um, also, Advar and I were talking before this interview. You also have, um, the area you're located is, has a long history of industrial work. And so your workforce here is, is, is really kind of a good American, hardworking, you know, the well, right mentality workforce, and that, that contributes to your success as well, I would imagine. Yeah, I mean, we, we, are, we are proud to be an American-owned mm -hmm. um, manufacturer, and we really thrive by building, you know, complex equipment that nobody else can build and um, providing superior customer service. But the whole reason we can do any of that is because we have exceptional employees 
and it's their skills that allow us to be successful. I can see they're very dedicated to what they, they do, just, just meeting some of them, very interesting. Uh, now tell me about uh, some other uh, products or components that you don't necessarily manufacture here, but you do offer for your customers. Um, yeah, in order to provide our customers with the full line of material handling products, uh, we distribute products that we have selected with different partners. And what this allows us to do is to provide, um, fill in the holes of we build the really large equipment, we can provide the smaller equipment, for giving a whole range to, uh, to our customers. So the smaller distributed products could include small chain hoists, um, uh, rigging equipment, um, package hoists, things along those lines. Um, we're actually an authorized stocking distributor, um, resell, stock parts reseller, and service center for Columbus McKinnon. And their brands include Budget, CM, Coughing, Chester Hoist, um, Little Mule, and Shawl. Uh, and then we distribute other people's products such as Monk, Allvac, um, Gorbel. Um, we have a full, uh, we have our own dedicated spare parts group uh, that uh, has a large uh, inventory of uh, equipment and parts available. And uh, we try to make sure that we have what people need in stock. Um, and then in addition, um, if for some reason somebody needs something, we're always willing to, to make it. <laughs> and that's, that's the cool thing that you, you've been here so long, you're such an expert in your field that if somebody comes to you and says, I have a specialized need, that's probably something you guys can really uh, do a fabulous job with, I would think. Yeah, we would get excited about something like sure, that. Sure, so. sure, sure. Well, I guess, you know, you, you may have answered this in many ways, but, but generally speaking, to, you know, what do you attribute to the success of this business? This, you know, 40 years? Going strong, expanding, growing, your market's expanding, the economy's coming back. I don't know about globally, but certainly in the United States. So, so what would you, how would you uh, attribute the success so far? Well, it, in spite of the economy, I mean, we have been lucky to be in markets where uh, the industrial production has actually been growing, and that definitely has been helping our growth. But what I like to think it's all is that all stems from is our commitment to quality, and that is products process, and most importantly, people. Like I said before, our people, our employees are exceptional, and they're really like an integral part to our success. Um, in addition, we have a, a QA program that allows us to um, do QA that's catered to general industry, as well as to the more difficult uh, industries such as nuclear. Hmm. So um, then just to kind of sum up here, we're probably running out of time. Just tell us again that the, the, the types of services and the range of services that you offer out there? Okay. Um, well, we are an overhead material handling manufacturer um, as well as a distribution uh, or distributor of smaller material handling products. Uh, we sell spare parts and we also do service including inspections, maintenance, uh, and repair. Pretty much do it all. So fascinating. And I know we're going to come back and visit with you again at some point in the future, but I want to thank you for being our guest today, you and Oddbar. This, this is right here in Douglasville, Pennsylvania, right on the 422 corridor, a real success story. And uh, it's been a great pleasure having you on the show today. Pleasure's mine. And thank you for watching another 422 Business Show. Uh, Bill Haley, the Route 422 Business Advisor Publisher. And uh, Please go to our website, 422business.com, to view this and, and past videos that we've done, and also to learn more about how you can improve your business on the 422 corridor. Please call us at 610-323-6253 to help you with your advertising needs. And of course, if you're interested in getting a video like this one or an article about your business, we'd be happy to talk to you. Once again, 610-323-6253. Five free. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next month.